I've logged into the Aviva support website and I'm going to download System Platform. Now there's a number of options here and I've reviewed these in a previous video, but I'm going to select Product Hub to download System Platform. Now there's quite a bit of software you can download here, but to filter it I'm just going to search for System Platform over here in this left search bar. Now a number of System Platform results will come up, but one of the first things I look for is the year of the search results. And here I see I have 2020R2. If I wanted to download a previous version, I could do so here. Now the release versions are grouped by year. So if I wanted to download 2017 Update 2, I can select this system platform link to do so. I'm going to select 2020R2, so I'm going to go here. And I can see the ISO and zip files here. And then I can see the previous versions down here of 2020 non-R2. Now I'll typically download the ISO. You can download the zip if that's what your project requires, but I like to download the ISO and I typically put that in a network location so I can mount that file on multiple computers at the same time. I'll click this download link here and there's a readme file that comes up. And in previous versions you had to read all of it in order to download it but in the newer versions they've updated that. There is a lot of good information in this readme file. One of the most important things that I'll read through is the known issues at the bottom. Now this is really important if you're upgrading to a newer version in an existing production environment. Be sure to read through these known issues and see if they impact your production system or give you a heads up not to upgrade until they have a hot fix or a new release out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download here and there you go.